crystal blessings everybody I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video um, showing what the advanced crystal healing class students uh, can choose to do for their homework and one of the choices is to identify a mineral set um, you can go ahead and get this set here if you've chosen to get this you can do the identifying and when you get it go ahead and Put the answer key somewhere away safe where you're not going to look at it hopefully until after you've identified all the crystals or tried to identify them. Okay, and then this link to this website, which I'll also give below in this video if you want to try doing this yourself, um, will really help you to learn about identifying minerals. We're going to go over these physical properties in class. Here's a short animation of what the fizziness looks like when you add hydrochloric acid, or even vinegar will do this also um, to minerals that will react with it. Okay, and so let me just go back here. All right, and we'll pick, and here are the different minerals that you can choose to identify on this website. We'll pick an easy one, and I'm sure a lot of you know what this one is. Um, if it, you choose a mineral and you're not too sure, I did an easy one purposely for this video for demo purposes, um, but you're not too sure and you want to see a different picture, you can choose an additional image from one of the links here. Okay, and what's really great, great about this website and using the kit is um, along with the kit, you'll notice um, there was a separate link that I put in the class resources where you can get a test kit. If you can look at the kit and if you have those items around the house then great. If you don't then I think the kit is seven or eight dollars and it gives you all the little items you need to identify or test minerals. Um, so you can do the hardness test using the items in the kit or again what you have around the home. Um, this website tells you what to use to do the scratch test. I'm not sure if it's a fingernail or uh, an iron nail, but um, let's pretend we did it and we got a six. The sample was not scratched by whatever that item was. Um, the cleavage fracture test is great because the only way to do that is to break your mineral. And I'm sure we don't want to break a lot of our beautiful minerals and crystals. So you can use the website to do that for you. And it says breaking the sample resulted in zero cleavage direction. So that means the direction went in all different ways and an irregular fracture. Okay, we do a streak test. You can actually do that with your minerals. I'm not sure, I don't think this mineral is included in your kit, um, but if, if you do get one that is, go ahead and use your porcelain tile to do the streak test. So let's pretend we did this one. Or if you do have this one in your own personal collection, you can do that on your porcelain tile. And the sample is dark gray. Even though the mineral is not dark gray, the streak is dark gray. Okay, we hold a magnet up to it and we get a weak magnetic attraction. And again, if you if you try your sample and you're not getting one, um, with this particular mineral, some are attracted to magnet and some aren't. And that attraction is weak. So it's good that you have this website to double check. Um, the hydrochloric acid, again, if you don't have a hydrochloric acid which gives you more of a dramatic result, you can use vinegar. Um, hydrochloric acid is hard to get if you don't work in a science lab like I do. <laughs> so, um, but you can get it. So, but anyhow, you may not have any other uses for it. So a vinegar is a nice option. Or again, you can use the website and it did not react. And taste test. If you're squeamish and you don't want to taste, this comes in very handy. The sample has no discernible taste. Okay, so you come down here into the worksheet and you put in the color is a yellow gold. The streak was gray. The cleavage, it said zero. The crystal form. Now the crystal systems, the way I teach them, are slightly different. So here you're learning a different modality or a different crystal system. They're not uniform throughout geology tasks texts, sorry. So it's um, good to get a different viewpoint. This one I know happens to be peridohedron. The fracture was irregular. The hardness was six. The luster we see from the picture is metallic. Um, no hydrochloric acid, weak magnetic, and that was it. No taste. So then we pick from the choices we have here of what we think it is, and we grade it and we got it. If you did have something wrong, let's say we picked prism instead of pyridohedron, it would tell you you missed the crystal form and you just try again through process of elimination and you could learn the alternate crystal system this way. Okay, so I hope you have some fun doing that and um, if you have any questions let me know. Okay, crystal blessings and namaste.